Hello guys, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. This year, this winter 2021, we have enormous amounts of snow approaching sometimes the level of emergency. During one of these snowstorms, I lost my 80 to 10 meters full size and fed half-wave antenna, which was stretching from the high pine tree to the rooftop of my house. Due to the snow load, the branches broke and my antenna fall. So there's no way to repair it now in such a uh, heavy snowing. But uh, my emergency situation is that these coming days we have a nice national contest to celebrate National Day. It's a 30 years tradition and I would be very sorry to miss it. So there's no way to repair the, the, the big antenna. So I found my shorty 80 to 10 coil loaded, my favorite portable antenna, which I'm going now today zigzag from my window into my backyard and see what happens. So as installed, my shorty 80 to 10 meters wire goes from my shack window on the second floor, goes like this, comes to the nesting box at around three meter height, sharply zigzags and goes to the right, the coil in the middle, and then goes to the right up to the apple tree where the green indicates the top level of the end of the antenna. It's around three meters height. Up in the shack, antenna starts with a 49 to one transformer, which is manufacturer made, and it's supported by the curtain rod. The red wire next to the antenna socket is a counterpoise wire, which I personally choose to use it um, because it's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's necessary uh, and its length is uh, 0.05 wavelength on 80 meters, which makes 4 meter length. The cable is just a short piece of cable because it's in the shack and not far away from the transceiver and, and it's just 3 meter length of, of cable which goes to my transceiver. So before connecting this antenna to my transceiver, I decided to make some measurements. 80 meter band is a band of interest for today, for our experiment. So I made the range on nano VNAF from three megahertz to four megahertz. And here we see that there is a nice dip at around uh, 3.710 megahertz, um, uh, being uh, showing the SWR at 2.05. Uh, so this is, this is pretty workable, I would say, even without the tuner. So at least uh, the transceiver, my transceiver uh, Elecraft K3 would, would cope with it with no problem. But of course, it's, it's obvious that uh, use of tuner would help to tune it one to one. So, but all in all, it's a, um, having in mind such a weird configuration uh, as, as, as we have today with this antenna, uh, having in mind that the, the, the loaded coil is used. So it's a uh, pretty nice uh, resonance, pretty nice dip and pretty acceptable SWR. We, we go up the frequency and we see, and we see another resonance uh, around 7.4 with SWR 1.15. So we go further on. We go around so 10 megahertz band. It's 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 uh, as the are around 4.95, pretty high. Of course, it's not a resonant of of this on this band. So here we see on for on 20 meter band we see very nice uh, resonance at 14.18. Uh, with the SWR 1.11, very good. No tuner will be needed. And then we go further on and we see another resonance at around 20.9, 21 megahertz. So it's also workable at, at, at SWR 1.6, 1.58. And then we see another dip in resonance around 24.8. And then we see the last dip we see 
around 28.2 with 1.36 SWR. Also pretty, pretty good. So the measurements with Nano VNA F show that uh, actually uh, how important is the location and the configuration of the antenna of this type, the end-fed half-wave antenna with the loading coil in the end of the wire. So when I was designing, tuning and pruning this antenna, I was doing that uh, in, the, in the outdoors, in, in the field, and it was um, tuned for resonance at uh, around 3.6 MHz uh, in the inverted V configuration with the apex supported in the middle at, uh, by the 6 meter mast. So that was totally different picture from what we see today. And that's why it's always good to, with this type of the antenna to have some length folded back uh, on, the, on the end of the wire in order to be able to adjust if, if uh, such um, a need comes, um, uh, to adjust the length of the antenna for a feet or two uh, in order to not use antenna tuner. On some transceivers you might not even have one, so that's, um, uh, that's why. In my case, today, I'm not going to go downstairs, I'm not going to retune uh, the antenna uh, because this is emergency use. I probably will keep on using this antenna in summertime in, in the fields. But for today, I will just simply use my antenna tuner of my Elecraft K3 transceiver and we will see how it's going in the contest. It's going to be 80 meters only, three rounds for 20 minutes, SSB and CW contest. Easy rules and a good test for our antenna. Allegric du Henrikas. Sushventem 590001. Allegric du Henrikas, Allegric du Hash. Vigi Sushventem 590002. Allegric du Henrikas, Allegric du Henrikas. Allegric du Henrikas, 50 QSOs during one hour time and I consider it pretty good a result, pretty decent result with this zigzag 80 to 10 antenna which was working only exclusively on 80 meters today and it's done pretty good job. So thanks for watching, consider subscribing, consider bending and zigzagging your antennas and don't forget to leave a comment on your experience. For now, 73, goodbye and see you later. This is Lilas Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.